Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to vintage story here in 2022. And I think it's about time that I make myself a new axe because it is indeed about to break, right? And I know I have another axe uh, on standby, but I'm going to have one ready to roll now for the next time because this one is not long for this world. I like to have plenty of backups. Now, one of the cool things that was brought up to me uh, as a good reminder from Jan is that I don't want to get all of these uh, Cooper's Reeds in terms of their roots, even though it makes great food, because if you do this and you take them all, they will not grow back, and then your area will just be devoid of cattails. So you definitely want to be watching out for that. Now, what time is it? It is getting later in the day, right? So we have to be very, very careful about that. But something... Oh, oak planks fun that we can do right here is just go ahead and look around and see if we can find anything that we want to mark on our map before it does get to be nighttime because we're going to be doing some work uh, during the evening mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I want to get food together Maybe find some more berries to round out my diet. Remember, the more my diet is rounded out with different sources of calories, nutrition, uh, the bigger benefit I get to my satiety rate. So I will get hungry less rapidly. And that's super useful. Okay. I now have just about enough to make one more basket. Now we can also start making containers out of clay when we get it, and we definitely want to do that. Now you see how it's getting really dark? It is uh, like 7.30 p.m., okay? And this is the time to go back home. Once it starts, you see the sun setting, you see these amazing clouds, you can see the stars pricking through, this is time to go home. We might very well see some baddies as we wander home. And we really want to avoid them. We don't want to take any damage. We can fight them. We do have a spear, an axe, things like that that we can hit them with. But right now, I'd rather not. Okay? So here is our house. And I'm going to... Uh, go here, just take out some bad soil, and use this to block up the doorway, just like that. All right, beautiful. We're home. Get out of here, grass. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, yes, our operation, our cooking operation. Now, I actually need to uh, remove all of this firewood and add it here because we're about to run out. Firewood, like I said, it goes really, really fast. And it actually takes a while to cook these roots, okay? But that's okay. We're hungry. Let's eat. I'm going to eat it all, to be honest with you. Well, not, not the last piece. Don't need that. And I'm going to combine this in my stack over here. And I could even, if I want to get really ambitious, throw that there. But there's really no chance that I will have enough wood to cook that unless I split some more logs. And I do have more logs to split, which is great. I'm actually going to take this smaller stack then and combine it with my axe and just make this all into wood. You hear those noises? Just like kind of in Minecraft when you hear those noises. I'm going to throw that on there. Those are baddies, and they're outside. Actually, you can see them kind of piercing through the outdoor 
Um, that's a that's a drifter right there trying to come through. He's not going to smash into my house, really. He's just walking around. And you can hear him splashing in the water, right? So, unnerving, but we're okay. Now, I'm going to start working on expanding my house a little bit. Safely, okay? I'm not going to take out any tiles that would put me outdoors. Because I don't want to do that. But it might be nice to get blocking out our house uh, to a bigger size. So that we can eventually make it larger. And another thing I would like to do is go ahead and look into my inventory. I, I still only have the two sticks, so it's not a tremendous amount, but let's go ahead and make our basket. All right, fantastic. So we have yet another basket that we can put down. And just for fun, I'm gonna put down these oak planks and put my basket on top of it right there. So we have this like, you know, faux wooden floor. I mean, it's not faux, it's just Incomplete, I guess, is the way to describe that. Okay, now... It is uh, cold outside, but we have a fire, you know, so our character is okay. And it's, you know, getting close to midnight. And that's... that's fine. Now, let's say I wanted to make some armor for myself. And I wanted to make, like, this improvised body armor. Just to give myself a little defense. Notice that all I would need would be firewood and dry grass. So, if I have grass on me, I do. And I have some firewood here, but I actually want to keep that. Let's just make some more. Right? Let's just take these logs. And from this screen, we'll open up our crafting. We'll drop these over here. And I'm going to just put my axe here. Now, your axe can break just like it did right there. See? That was a good example. It broke right when I was trying to split the wood. So we got this, but then our axe is gone. And all I have to do is go back over here and pick up my axe that I made and put it in here. And um, I'm just going to make all of that like that. And then we'll put the axe back over here. And I'll make another axe for myself like this. Throw it in my pack. And I actually am going to put this on my tool rack. Because why not? There. All right, so now we have some wood, and if you want, you can take this, and you can kind of drag this around, and then put your knife, and then you can make some body armor, okay? Now, it gives you 55% uh, protection, which is good. Like, it's some, it's some sustain. It'll make you a little hardier, but I have to say, um, don't get super attached to this armor because it breaks very, very easily. So we put it on, and you can see it changes our appearance. And that's kind of fun. All right. So now we have some armor on ourselves. Uh, and, you know, we're a little bit sturdier. But, again, this armor will break. Okay, so while these guys are out there doing their thing, um, I'm just going to kind of dig down and continue making our house bigger. Now, one thing that I can do here is... Oh, okay, we've got muddy gravel there. And you can see the bad guy right out there in the water. He's, like, really, really trying hard to get in. Um, and, uh-oh, he did get in because I dug through the ground. And so all you have to do is say, my God, I didn't mean to do that, and fill that back in, and you're okay. Now, we got hit a little bit, okay? And you can see that the durability on our armor wore down. It has a durability bar there. And we lost two health. Now, our health is down, okay? Um, to 15.3, but it will return. So, I'm alarmed by that result, and I'm just going to plug that hole back up and be like, no thank you. You can see that my health is already filling back up. Alright. So, let's not go towards the lake for our home expansion. Let's go the other way. I think hopefully we have a little bit of space, but I'm going to keep this on my hotbar in case I pierce through and I need to immediately fill in the hole. Now, what's this on the ground? This is basalt rock, okay? 
So it's good to get down to rock, but we can't break this until we get a copper tool. So you can't make any kind of mining pick in this game, pickaxe, until you get uh, a metal. So you can't make a stone or wooden pickaxe like you can in Minecraft. It's just not a thing. All right, and I'll open this up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And how far can we go here? Bad. Bad news. All right, unfortunately, not that far. So what I was doing was extremely dangerous, but the cool thing is um, they're stuck over there, and we can try to fight them to show you some combat, but there's a lot of them out there, unfortunately. So let's talk about combat. My spear has um, minus two hit point attack power. My ax has minus 1.3 hit point attack power, and my knife has minus one hit point attack power. My spear can do five piercing damage if I throw it. So it's even better in that respect, okay? And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just nap myself out a spearhead, another one, and make another spear for myself so that we can get a little bit better at combat. Now, obviously, I don't recommend doing this, but this is a good way for me to showcase some fighting. All right. Now, if you look at myself, my armor has worn down a little bit more. Now, I'm going to uh, punch right here, okay? And you can see that they try to throw rocks at me. And they're also punching me, throwing stuff at me, and climbing through, in fact. Okay, and let's block that off. So we're getting hurt. And we can now harvest the drifter, okay? And if you have a knife equipped, you can just go ahead and shift, right click, and harvest from them. They usually, unfortunately, have no loot. So that's a sad reality of the situation, that they have nothing. You know, you're just like, oh, what did I get? And I got nothing. Okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit of food. Get our health back. And what time is it? Okay. So, again, most of the time, you're going to want to just pass the time by sleeping or staying safe. This is how dangerous drifters are, and you don't want them in your house, and we're going to have to clear them out. Again, you know, this isn't the best... This is not smart at all, what I have done. It's just a way for me to show you combat, but it shows you that even with this armor, um, these guys do a bunch of damage. And you can get distance on them, and if you can throw your spear at them, you know, you have a better chance, okay? But we want to make sure that we're in a spot where, um... Okay, actually, I think we killed another one. Okay, uh... And we threw it, okay? And we threw our other spear. Okay, out. All right, there we go. Okay. So, these guys are actually dead. So, when we were fighting, I think we were killing some of them as they bounced through. And I don't know if they fought each other. And through, they damaged each other with their own stones. That very well might have happened here. This was a, a, a unique cluster. And in general, there are not gen uh, usually this many of these guys all together. But they, this is where they are. Okay? And they all came in here to try to mess with us. And, oh. Okay. We still have a little bit of exposure there. Alright. So now we're completely walled back in. And they're outdoors, but they now cannot get into where we are. So that's great. And let's go ahead and get some food. You can see our firewood is draining. All right, scary stuff, scary stuff. Remember, 
if you die, so what? You go back to the spawn point and you can come back and reclaim your items. If you die in your house, even easier to get your stuff back because you know where it is, right? But um, I will tell you that, you know, of course you want to avoid it if you can. I'm going to put some food away. Oh, actually, while I'm here, while we're doing this, all right, this could be a fun time to discuss some other pre uh, properties of the game while we're just passing time. So notice my food. It says it's fresh for 7.6 days, and it's perishable. So this is going to go bad over time, right? So we have to understand that. But our root does not go bad. So the root, if you haven't cooked it, you can just store it indefinitely. But once you've cooked it, it goes bad in about seven days. But that's really a long time. But we can make better stuff to even contain our food for longer if we like. All right. Now let's check out my fire situation. It looks like it's gone out. It did. And I still have a bunch of uh, roots that I was trying to cook. All right. So if I want, what I can do is just bounce over here and open up my containers until I find my logs and then just throw them in here like this, put my ax on here and I'm gonna just push shift and left click and just cut up the entire stack, uh, cut up all the wood that we had. And then I'm gonna go over here and I could do more cooking and I'm gonna do a little bit, okay? You could see it cooked even without the wood there because the, the fire was still warm enough to cook it. We don't want to cook too much because it's going to spoil, but then again, seven days is a, a pretty tremendous amount of time. So while this is going, all right, I'm going to eat one more, and I'm going to show you what happens if you sleep. Okay, I'm going to rest. And you can push shift to exit, and we're going to sleep for up to seven hours, as it says. We close our eyes, and time is passing. And you can see our hunger bar going down, 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 and then we've woken up. And look at the time, it's 10 in the morning. Okay, so I'm gonna eat food. I'm gonna check our cooking progress and get this back. There we go. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Okay, so let's see what we can do about resecuring our home area. All right, so we have two spears, okay? that we can throw. And if you have a spear in your inventory, all right, and you throw one from your hot bar, it will immediately refill it with the spear, okay? So I'm gonna just go out of my house. I'm gonna run away and see how many bad guys are still around my home. Now in general, once the day comes, they should leave. Yeah, you can see a drifter over there and he's like, kind of going away. He's going back someplace else, but now he has seen us, so he wants to come tango. But it's just the one guy. How much time on our berries? Two days? Two days and we're going to have berries. How about that? Now, I'm not like, super excited to fight these guys uh, because my um, health is low. But I think if he comes over here we should be able to throw... Nah, he's way over there. Alright. Let's just ignore him. We don't need to fight him right now. Alright, cool. Well, I showed you combat. I showed you... I'm not really that great at combat. And I don't have good weapons uh, or enough spears. You want to have like three or four spears. So you can throw a bunch. They do w good damage. If thrown. But not a ton. Okay. Good. All right, so if we want to get this cobblestone, okay? Cobblestone, you can acquire without a pickaxe, and I, you can do it with a shovel like I'm doing, all right? It takes a decent amount of durability to do this. It's, it's not like the ideal tool, but we can get some if we want. And moreover, what we're trying to do here is just dig through and see if there's any other treasures hidden under the ground. And you can find that out by just digging and seeing when the... Once the cobblestone starts to cease. And... 
it's like soil or rock or whatever, then you know, of course, there's nothing else. But, you know, go for it. Poke around, see if you can get lucky. I'm just getting the stone right now because I'd like some. And, ooh, what did we find? We found some bony soil. So bony soil is good. I'm going to hold on to it. There are certain types of um, items in, or materials in this game, resources, that you can sift through to try to find um, metal and, like, pan for gold. Except we're not really panning for gold. We're panning for copper at this stage of the game. So you can get sand, you can get gravel, but not muddy gravel. It has to be dry gravel. Or you can get bony soil and you can pan it. And when you pan it, you kind of have a chance of finding loot that pulls from a loot table. Now, sand and gravel pull from the same table. According to a friend of mine from the YouTube comments, Pest, and bony soil pulls from a different table, but you can get, like, cool uh, artifacts and stuff. So, you can get fun relics, artifacts, interesting finds from bony soil, but you don't get as good of copper. So, if you're looking for copper, you want to be panning sand or gravel. Now look how much cobblestone we're finding. We're finding slabs, we're finding cobblestone, and you don't have to do this. If you don't care about cobblestone, then don't even worry about it, but I like cobblestone, and I'm going to be... Look how big this area is, by the way. So I'm just kind of exploring around, seeing what what is this? What's, what's down here, right? There's a bunch of it, and I'm going to make my house out of this and make it bigger, all right? Fortify it and make it even larger so that we don't have any debacles like we did last night. Um, and bad guys are getting into our home on and on. I don't want that. So I'm going to dig my way out and just look around. And again, this is destroying our shovel to do this, and it's not very fast because this is not the appropriate tool, but we can do it this way, and so I will. Also, what I like about this is we're looking for, for good stuff. You know, we're looking for resources. Now look how much cobblestone I have. I have 49 blocks of it right now. And you can just see how deep these foundations run. Okay. Awesome. All right, we've made a full loop. But, I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg is what was being exposed, basically. We can even get some steps, and who doesn't want steps for their house, right? So we can't make, like, a really, really sweet house right now, but we can, you know, get started on it. We can have some fun. And I'm going to gather this and basically just in, try to encase my entire home and then just eliminate all the dirt from the inside out. And uh, we can do that during the night if we want. Of course, you can always just sleep on your bed if you're looking to just pass the night quickly, but I always like to have some jobs to do because, um, as you can see, it, it didn't really give me a benefit. Like, it's not like it saved me food to... Uh, an appreciable amount or restored my health better to sleep and there's no penalty to your character for not sleeping like in Stardew Valley so you know it's not like you get tired uh, maybe they'll add that at some point but right now it's not in the game so I'm going to take this cobblestone and I'm going to start surrounding my existing home with it all right you can hear all the evil noises not ideal. Now, some of it I don't really need to do, but... We want to be careful... Um, because we don't want bad guys to start spawning inside our home. So we want to look out for that. And I'll show you how to uh, prevent that from happening. All right, there we go. 
And again, I'm just going to do this and come out here. Have a nice... Now, there's a bag. Speaking of bad guys, right? They're in there. And they're fighting. <laughs> Because they can spawn there, because we haven't prevented them from doing it. And because it's dark, they have an even greater chance of spawning in there. So that's that's just bad, right? So let's fix this up. Alright. Okay, looking good, looking good. Alright. And I got like a somewhat of a roof here. Okay. And uh, we just about... We, uh, we did. We completely ran out of cobblestone. But that's okay. We can get more. And what I can also do is like say, Hey, where are these bad guys? Can I see them? Can I get to them? Which part of my house are they in? See, they're not in this part. They're over here, sort of. So this part is safe. They're kind of down here somewhere. Yeah, down there, right? And so, I could just trap them in there forever. And I think I might do that, and just forfeit that little part of my house to their nefarious ways. And say, fine, you can have it. Okay? And we can fight them when we get stronger. But for now, there's no real, like, I'm not really, really super uh, rushing to do that. Let's just see how much of our house we can get back without inviting those guys into it. Yeah, they're down there, okay? So, this part is a no. And the outside is vi clearly visible here, so we'll just block that up. All right, the house is back to normal. Now, if you don't want bad guys to spawn in your house, you need torchlight, of course. Uh, but you can also place things on each square. And something you can always place on the square are stones. So that's something to use stones for, and you'll get a bunch more of those soon. Now, in the meantime, I'm getting hungry. So it's time to cook and go get some clay. So let's check out our cooking operation. How did it go? We've got 14 ready. And that's good for now. Remember, we have some others stored. So we're just going to take some with us, and I'm going to offload some supplies that we do not need. Great. Okay, and let's look in our basket. By the way, uh, I'm not going to be digging any deeper right now. I'm not going to be replacing the flooring anytime soon. So what I'm going to actually do is just put this soil back so that our house is uh, level and we can easily walk inside it. And we can remove this, right? Because we have cobblestone. So we can, like, mine this out to the cobblestone that we built and be happy about that. And it's going to break our tool rack, so we'll do that later. But there. Now we got, see, got some more space. Okay. Now I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take this food with me. And I'm going to start uh, offloading supplies. Now, once you have everything open, you can just push E to open up your inventory. And then again, hold Alt to move the cursor. And I'm going to, like, put in this bony soil, this cobblestone slabs, these other pieces of soil, these firewood, um... This stack of soil, I really don't need it. This firewood, I don't need that. And everything else, uh, this looks fine. So now I have enough, plenty of space available with me, and I have some food to take. Uh, but you'll notice immediately that my shovel is going to break, so I'm going to nap out a shovel head uh, so that we have another one for later. And we're going to need a stick for that. And we're needing sh uh, shovel right now because I want to get some clay. It's time to start doing the wonderful things that clay and pottery can do for us. By the way, if you want to make a door, you could do that easily, okay? Uh, watch this, H, and you can say crude um, door. Oh, is it called straw door? Uh, door. Rough. 
All right. Yeah, there's like rough, there's crude. Here it is, rough wooden door. We just need two logs, three branches, and our axe, and we can make like a really bad door. That door will break a lot, so that's unfortunate, but it's still cool. I still like having it, even though it flies off the hinges and you have to replace it. When it breaks, it doesn't like um, become irretrievable. You, it just falls on the ground and you have to just like put it back. But that's okay. Here's some sticks for us. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's go. And let me see here. From this point, I'm going to go back to our clay. All right. Remember, I marked it. So it's right out over here on the other side of this mountain. Let's just jump, see if we can get up here and not die from falling damage. And hey, there's some animals, and here comes our clay. Now, let's be careful that we don't fall into one of these caves because this is a very cave uh, heavy region. I'm going to break this up, get a stick. And there we go. Look at this beautiful spot with all of this clay. And this is why we needed another shovel. All right, so we're just going to get as much clay as we can. You can see that it bursts out. And the great thing about clay, okay, and this is blue clay. There's red and blue clay, which have different applications. The great thing about this is you really don't actually need that much clay. So once you find it, you're in great shape because one piece of clay goes an incredibly long way. And you can see that each of these blocks is giving me a ton of clay. Like right now, I already have a full stack of clay. So I'm going to get like two stacks, and that should be plenty of clay for us. Just being perfectly honest with you. And if we need more, we can come back. But this is a great starter bit of clay. Look at this. Uh, well, I'll just get myself... Yeah, there we go. Pick that up. Pick it up. Beautiful. And I'm going to check to see if there's any berries around here. And I'm going to get really dumb and greedy and just poke my head in here really fast. See if there's anything visible in that cave. Like some cool thing. But I don't see anything immediately apparent. So I'm going to run out. Good thing you can find in caves... Uh, is drifters. <laughs> they will be there. Now, you see my health is slowly recovering. Uh, you can press C to see your healing effectiveness. Okay, it's at 100% right now. So, it, it's fine, but it's going to take some time to recover from those terrible injuries until we get uh, some different technologies. All right. I'm looking for berries. It's already getting late. So what does that mean? Uh, that means for me, number one, what I want uh, is our sticks. Before it gets too late, the main thing that I would like are sticks uh, and grass. I think I have a good amount of dry grass, but um, more is always helpful. Now, the great things about finding ruins is sometimes when you find a ruin, you can find, like, a piece of technology that's already in there. Like, uh, a tool that's like a copper tool or something like that that's just in one of those pots. And it'll, it'll put you uh, nicely ahead because right now we don't have copper and we don't have all the stuff in place to smelt copper. Great. Great. How many sticks do I have now? 11? God, that's not enough. Man, do I want more than that. And you'll see why. All right, so, it, really, if I want more sticks, I should just go, like, chop down trees and the like. But this is okay. Sometimes you get lucky and, like, you know, um, these will give you a bunch of sticks. And sometimes, you know, these leaves won't give you any sticks. And you'll be like, please, leaves... Okay. And let's go try to get the root. There you go. There's some sticks. All right, great. Okay. So we're going to head back because it is getting darker and darker as you see. And we're still recovering. We're still licking our wounds. This is a good one. This will give us some sticks. Or at least one.
Terrific. Beautiful. Oh man, these sticks. Yes. You never thought I'd be so happy to get sticks, but I am. Okay. And then let me switch to my knife really fast and just get some grass. Grass is super easy. You just like bap it once. So that's always amazing. Okay. All right, great. Let's go home. Let's go home. No more bad... B Look at our home. Man, our home is looking great. I, that's why I love cobblestone, because it just looks like a real thing. It's not perfectly square, you know? I got to do some work on it if I want, but I like it. I like that it's kind of rounded and, you know, irregular looking. All right, so let's get inside our house. Okay, let's hope that there's no baddies, and we did a good job. Now, until we do this, I'm going to block this up like this, but look, now... Um, we are in the shape. We can't make a door because we don't have any wood. All right. But we're in business for a couple of things. So we have this like sweet bed that's underground almost. And that's awesome. Now we have clay. Okay. So we're ready. We have clay. And what we're going to do um, is start shaping our clay and then getting it ready to fire. Because in this game, you have to shape things into raw clay molds or raw clay structures and then fire them in a kiln for them to be usable, like in reality. And so it's a great uh, bit of the realism in the crafting in this, but it's also, you know, just something that oop, can be tedious uh, if you don't understand and don't plan enough. So you want to have this done because it takes like a full day, basically, for things to fire in the kiln. All right, everyone... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we had a great time. This I almost got killed by way too many drifters. I thought I was going to get like one, maybe two, and I got a pack. If the rift activity is strong or if it's just that time for you, you might have a whole bunch of them. But luckily, you stay inside and you see that they just kind of like go away uh, or they even fight each other and kill each other. I don't hear anything. So I think these guys might have either despawned or fought each other to death. I don't know. But good riddance uh we got cobblestone surrounded our base we have a bunch of clay to get ready to go and things are going beautifully i hope you have an excellent evening or day please post any questions you have below and i would love to answer them take care